It is so important to have art in clinic and other healing spaces. When people seek medical care, it's often for things that are um, scary, that are somewhat frightening. And if we can do whatever we can to decrease that fear, to decrease that anxiety, uh, it's incredibly important. And if we can do that through art, it's got other levels of, of benefit as well. It allows people to lose themselves in the art. It allows them to travel through their minds. It allows us to expand our creativity, um, to allow us to become more empathetic, to put ourselves in other people's shoes. The whole approach and vision of this clinic build was based on the mission to create a deeper connection to the patients in the community. And so the way the clinic is built, the flow, the technology, the light, the programming, all focus toward learning, interaction, and inspiration. The art of course plays huge into the inspiration and comfort part of that. The art should reflect the community, it plays a big role in making people feel secure and welcome and in touch. So I had the great pleasure of going out and researching this community to see what was going on in the arts field. I found that it's a very tight-knit art community here with people dedicated to this community and sort of generationally being in touch and knowing each other quite well. It was a wonderful experience getting to know them and their excitement about this whole project. Public art in itself just really in, in, it invites people to participate. So when you, when you open that to a broader spectrum, especially in a community like North Minneapolis, you give people an opportunity to participate and engage creatively. You allow people to take ownership uh, in, in a different way, not, not sort of monetary property ownership, but that surface ownership of, you know, I'm here, I exist, um, I occupy this space, I wanna see, the things that I'm interested in to go up on my walls. I want to see the art that, that speaks to me culturally. And it's, it's really important and I'm really proud of the clinic that they reached out to the artist on, in North Minneapolis to supply the clinic with that art. So the artwork that I'm working on for the clinic is um, a piece about healing, joy, and comfort. And I always feel like when we're healing ourselves over trauma or physical issues, um, most of the time we're, we're attending to our inner child. Um, and I love to paint children. So I, I thought that painting a, an image of children sort of embracing um, butterflies and the plants and, and, and nature around them would be very comforting and joyful. This piece is about community, this piece is about family, and this piece is about celebrating your values and your differences. That, and, uh, uh, that could be diversity, that could be uh, um, sexual preference, it could be the color of your hair. I, I think that people get further when they recognize who they are and recognize who other people are and see the similarities and the differences and the values and agree to move forward from that. with the social stuff that's going on, in particular, you know, in North Minneapolis. A lot of people aren't at peace because so much is going on, be it physical violence, be it economic violence, be it educational violence, there's a lot of stuff going on. So for me, what I want people to take away is, gosh, that's a, that feels like a peaceful, peaceful energy is really in this peace. The way I create, I create from that space. And so in the end, that's, that's what I want. I want people to go, man, okay, this, the day's a little bit lighter. Even if it's an ounce, it's a little bit lighter than it was prior to seeing this, this image. Because we know life is heavy. And so whatever we can, we can use to lighten that load, be it video or painting or prose, 
then that's what we should do, because that's what, that's what the people need.